scientists' comments on the Quran. Non-Muslim scientists embraced Islam after discovering the miracles of the Noble Quran. Professor Tagata Targazan Chairman of the Department of Anatomy and is the former Dean of the Faculty of Medicine, the University of Xiang, Thailand. He said, in the last three years, I became interested in the Quran. From my studies, I believe that, everything that has been recorded in the Quran 1400 years ago, must be the truth that can be proved by the scientific means. Since the Prophet Muhammad could neither read nor write, Muhammad must be a messenger, who relayed this truth which was revealed to him, as an enlightenment by the one who is eligible creator. This creator must be God, or Allah. I think this is the time to say, Lailaha, illallah, there is no God to worship except Allah, Muhammad, Razulu Allah, Muhammad is messenger of Allah. Professor, Alfred Kroner Professor of the Department of Geosciences, University of Mainz, Germany. Alfred, presented several Quranic verses and hadith of geological facts which he studied, and commented. Thinking where Muhammad came from. I think, it is almost impossible that he could have known about things, like the common origin of the universe, because scientists have only found out within the last few years, with very complicated and advanced technological methods, that this is the case. Somebody who did not know something about nuclear physics 1400 years ago could not, I think, be in a position to find out from his own mind for instance, that the earth and the heavens had the same origin statements that are being made in the Quran, in terms that relate to the earth, and the formation of the earth and science in general are true. Quran is a simple science textbook for the simple man. And that many of the statements made in there at that time, could not be proven, but that modern scientific methods, are now in a position to prove what Muhammad said 1400 years ago. Jolie Simpson Professor and Chairman of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Baylor College of Medicine, Houston, Texas, USA. He said, These hadiths could not have been obtained on the basis of the scientific knowledge that was available at the time of the writer. It follows that, not only is there no conflict between genetics and Islam, but in fact Islam may guide science by adding revelation to some of the traditional scientific approaches. There exist statements in the Quran shown centuries later to be valid, which support knowledge in the Quran, having been derived from God. William Hay Professor of Oceanography, the University of Colorado, USA He said, I find it very interesting that this sort of information is in the ancient scriptures of the Holy Quran, and I have no way of knowing, where, they would have come from. But I think, it is extremely interesting that, they are there, and this work, is going on to discover it. Professor, Doors Around Professor of Marine Geology, teaching at King Abdulaziz University, Saudi Arabia. Sheikh Zindani asked him, What do you think of the existence of the scientific information in the Quran? How could Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him have known, about these facts 14 centuries ago? He said, It is difficult to imagine that this type of knowledge was existing at that time, around 1400 years back. Maybe some of the things they have simple idea about, but to describe those things in great detail is very difficult. So this is definitely not simple human knowledge. A normal human being cannot explain this phenomenon in that much detail. So, I thought the information must have come from a supernatural source. TVN Per Sword Professor of Anatomy, and Professor of Pediatrics and Child Health, 
the University of Manitoba, Manitoba, Canada. He told that, it seems to me that Muhammad was a very ordinary man, he couldn't read, didn't know how to write, in fact he was an illiterate. We're talking about 1400 years ago, you have some illiterate person making profound statements, that are amazingly accurate of a scientific nature. Professor Keith Moore Professor Emeritus, Department of Anatomy and Cell Biology, University of Toronto, Canada. He told that, for the past three years, I have worked with the Embryology Committee of King Abdulaziz University in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, helping them to interpret the many statements in the Quran and Sunnah, referring to human reproduction and prenatal development. At first I was astonished by the accuracy of the statements, that were recorded in the 7th century, before the science of embryology was established. Although I was aware of the glorious history of Muslim scientists in the 10th century, and some of their contributions to medicine, I knew nothing about the religious facts and beliefs contained in the Quran and Sunnah. At a conference in Cairo, he presented a research paper and stated, It has been a great pleasure for me to help clarify statements in the Quran about human development. It is clear to me that, these statements must have come to Muhammad from God, or Allah, because most of this knowledge was not discovered until many centuries later. This proves to me, that Muhammad must have been a messenger of God, or Allah. Professor Moore, also stated that, The staging of human embryos is complex owing to the continuous process of change during development, it is proposed that a new system of classification could be developed, using the terms mentioned in the Quran and Sunnah. The proposed system is simple, comprehensive, and conforms with present embryological knowledge.